NoFlight is really good at making lead sheets. So I'm going to show you my method for how I like to make a lead sheet for my guitar class for play along purposes in class. I'm going to open a guitar part and today we're going to do Bruno Mars just the way you are. So I like to just put in the notes that are the roots of the chords. I'm not doing a key signature and I'm not paying attention to any accidentals right now. I just know that this is a one six four one song and I'm doing this for my reference so I can uh, pop in the chords later. I do much more complicated chord charts than this but my method is the same. This is just a simple one. Um, I don't like that being down the octave so I'm going to bring it up. Now that I can see the tonic pitch there I'm going to use the letter K to uh, be the chord tool. So you can see that flashing cursor above the staff there. I'm going to type the letter F that's going to be an F chord. Um, this tempo thing is in the way, so I'm going to highlight it and delete it. So that F chord goes to, again, I hit the, the K tool. This is a D minor chord. This is going to be a B flat chord. And you'll notice that there's not a B flat in the key signature. So this is actually B, but it doesn't matter. Just wait. Finish up. Now, I'm going to select all of these notes and I'm going to turn them into slashes. So I'm going to go to Note and turn them into slashes. There. Now the notes don't matter. So uh, I have an extra measure here. I'll get rid of that. And now I'm going to need to repeat this a lot. So repeat. I'm going to get the um, start and the end repeat. That's pretty much the entire song. Thank goodness for uh, simple pop music of today. I'm going to repeat this a number of times, let's say 24 times. And now for the play along part, I'm going to go to YouTube right now and do there it is. So Grammarly? Of course, the obligatory Grammarly commercial is there. I'm going to copy the link to the video before. and I'm going to close up YouTube. So I'm going to sync this. I'm going to go to score and there is a function underscore that's sync audio. So I'm going to pop in the YouTube link right there and click load. Now, all I have to do is hit play and then tap the M key for each downbeat of each measure. So here I go, play. So as soon as I hear the downbeat, I'm gonna hit the letter M. There. I just keep on tapping M on beat one. Now, I'm just going to keep on doing this until the song's over. But when I'm done, I'm going to have a song that I can play in class and put up on a smart board, and the kids are going to be able to follow along with it and play their instruments, looking at the chord shapes, following the metronome along, or the cursor, sorry. So here it is. I'm done. You can see that uh, the intro is not going to play. The song will pick up right at the beginning of measure one, and it's going to play all the way till the end of the song, repeating for the full almost four minutes. Watch. Click done and play. Easy. It just recorded all of my mouse clicks. Now I can play this back in class and put this up on a smart board. I can send this out to my class in Google Classroom. The kids can practice at home. It works out great. Wonderful feature.